in this video uh, we will see what is uh, uh, continue in kotlin continue in kotlin and then we will uh, see an example uh, to calculate the sum of n natural number using for loop okay so uh, what is continue and uh, in which cases continue is used so uh, suppose you are working with loops and uh, sometimes you want to skip the current iteration of the loop okay so in such case continue is used the continue construct skips the current iteration of the enclosing loop and the control of program jumps to the end body of the loop okay so let us now see that how continue works so yeah uh, it is almost uh, always used with if else construct so for example there is a while some ex test expression and uh, test expression one i can say and then there is uh, a loop which has some code one okay and then after some set of code there is a if statement that if test expression two is true okay uh, then i have to i i'll say i have to continue and uh, i'll just end the loop here and then the if statement here and there is some another block of code say code 2 okay so uh, what is happening here okay i'll just end my while loop okay so what is happening here is uh, if the test expression 2 is evaluated to if the text expression 2 is evaluated to true uh, continue is executed which skips all the codes inside the while loop after the iteration which is the code 2 block okay so uh, like uh, there is some code one that is going to be executed after the while statement and then uh, if the test expression 2 is true then it is going to uh, go to the end of this while block and skip the code 2 okay so uh, and if uh, there is something with the, uh, the if there is a do uh, do while loop okay so there would be a do while loop like do code one if a test expression two is true uh, continue and then there is another set of code and there is a then there is a while statement while test expression one so uh, now what what happens uh, when when the uh, test expression two is true that uh, the the continue is going to be called and uh, then it is going to be skipped to the while statement and then the test expression one is going to be checked and then it if it holds true then it will go to the uh, do loop okay so let us go through the uh, jump to the example of continue in kotlin okay, okay. so uh, suppose there is a for loop uh, from 1 to 5 and uh, uh, if i is uh, if i is greater than 1 or less than 5 yeah if i is greater than 1 and less than 5 we have to continue okay so i'll just uh, write the code one main for i in for i in 1 to 5 and then if uh okay i i'll include print ln mm, i always printed okay then uh, if i is greater than 1 and i is less than 5 
ओके विच इज इक्वल इन ऑल केस एक्सेप्ट वेन आई इज वन एंड फाइव ओके सो इन दिस केस आई से दैट कंटिन्यू कंटिन्यू ओके एंड देन आई अगेन राइट अ प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट विच से प्रिंट एल एन डॉलर आई नॉट ऑलवेज प्रिंट ओके सो वेन आई गो अहेड एंड रन दिस प्रोग्राम what i can see is uh, when 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 we run the program um okay so when we can when we run this program it says that one always printed one not always printed two always printed three always printed four always printed five always printed and then five not always printed okay so Uh, when the value of i is greater than one and less than five, continue is executed, which skips the execution of this 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 uh, code. Print ln i is not always printed. Okay. However, the statement this this statement print ln i is always printed is executed in each iteration of the loop because this this statement ex uh, this ex this statement exists before the uh, continue construct. Okay. so uh, now now we will see a uh, some uh, like real life example of it so uh, let's say i have to uh, i have to calculate the sum of positive numbers only so uh, before that uh, we will calculate the sum of first and natural numbers okay so for calculating the sum of first and natural numbers uh, the the what we can do is we can uh, use a for loop or any kind of loop okay so uh, let's say i i have to make a program using the for loop so i'll write the code and explain okay so uh, let's say uh, i i'll i have i am declaring the variable num and i am giving the value of 100 okay so i have to calculate the sum of first 100 natural numbers okay so there is a value and uh, let's say there is a variable sum which is initialized as 0 for the uh, in the starting okay so for i in 1 to num okay so i in 1 to num now what what uh, what are we going to do is i'll i am going to uh, do sum is equals to sum plus i okay so i am going to add i in sum and equate it with him, with it so uh, in order to write the code of it sum plus equals to i so this is the sum equals to sum plus i so uh, now uh, whenever the loop iterates Uh, every time uh, the particular number is going to add with the sum okay so at the end i'll print print the sum so uh, i'll print uh, sum is equals to sum now when i run this program i should see the uh, sum of first Hundred natural numbers. So the sum of first hundred natural number is five zero five zero. Okay. So uh, now I have to calculate the sum of only positive numbers from one to hundred. So now I have to do make some changes with in this program. So what I'll do is uh, I'll this this block of code is fine. Okay. so uh, there is some integer and uh, okay so uh, from 0 to 100 i have to calculate the sum of uh, positive numbers only 
so if before uh, including the sum if the uh, number is uh, okay sorry i have to mention here odd okay my bad i have to calculate the sum of odd numbers only so from 1 to 100 i have to calculate the sum of odd uh, odd numbers so if the number is even i have to continue okay i have no i, I have to skip the rest of code so uh, what is the condition for a, for a number to be even so the condition is number must be uh, when the number is divided by 2 the remainder must be zero okay so when the number is even i should continue and now when i run this program okay so if i if i uh, should be even then i uh, when divided by 2 the remainder should be zero okay so uh, when i divided by 2 and i is even we should continue and when i is not even that is odd we will skip to this block of code and calculate the sum so when i run this program i can see that the sum of odd numbers from 1 to 100 is 2500 okay so th that's all for this video stay tuned